man tries to rob a Denver native. Y'all already know what's going on. We is in the building, man. As soon as y'all get up in here, make sure y'all smash the like button. Say which number like y'all live. Y'all see the title. Y'all see the thumbnail, man. We in here talking about the Venezuelans, the trans, the Goya, whatever the name of the Venezuelan gang is called. You know, they out here wreaking havoc, man. Some more footage just then came out of a man walking to his car. And, you know, as soon as he uh, up the keys to try to open the car door and shit like that some dude just pop out of nowhere and all black walking up to him fast as hell the dude that was at his car he started walking up to the venezuelan we gonna find out later but uh why later but the whole time he started walking up to the venezuelan that's when the venezuelan up gun and just get the pointer he just get the pointer you know and buddy ass run behind like this uh he run behind something, and you know the Venezuelan just trying to line them up, get a good shot, but the dude ducking and shit like that. So I guess the Venezuelan thought he had a shot, so he let one off, but as soon as he let one off, he damn the uh, buddy that was getting robbed and shit like that, he had gun on him too the whole time. That's probably why he walked up the dude like, he wasn't worried about shit. So he up gun and he get the blowing. And then the Venezuelan get the taken off running. But he try to, you know, think it's safe. He try to walk back to his car. I guess he still see him. So he shoot at the Venezuelan again. Um, the Venezuelan blew back that time, though. Like, I guess dude was like, all right, bro, I'm already gone. You still shooting at me. I'm finna blow at your ass all the way from over here. So, uh... Buddy, uh, the dude that was getting robbed, he ended up walking back in his crib type shit or walking back to wherever he was originally walking from. But uh, y'all know what I got to say about this shit. And this shit wasn't even in Chicago, but they said this shit was in Denver, bro. Like Denver, I heard that's like a big hub for like, I guess they laws is like loose or some shit where the Venezuelans, they can come through and you know, settling Denver and shit like that. But nah, man, I ain't gonna lie, fool. Like, the majority of the comments that I've been seeing in my videos as far as these Venezuelan situation, people steady bringing up Trump and Kamala and Biden, bro. So I guess, I guess I damn near, like, I'm late to the party type shit because I ain't, you know what I'm saying? I wasn't really too hip to like what's been going on but apparently like people been you know been keeping an eye on this situation for a long time like this shit been going on this venezuelan trans the guia shit you know what i'm saying like this shit been going on that's a gang over there like that's like a uh a international gang type shit fool like they as guerrilla warfare like people say like the shit that happened in the 80s when Fidel Castro got them and sent all them Cubans over here and he sent them to Florida. That's where you get the movies like Scarface or even the Cocaine Cowboys, Grizel the Blanco, all that shit that was happening in uh, Miami and in, in Florida period, you know, uh, with the Cubans and shit. Y'all know what I'm talking about. They saying that this a rerun, but this time it's with the Venezuelans and you know, I even, even shout out my boy Perry. I ain't gonna lie, shout out my boy Perry because he sent me some shit. He was like, man, the uh, the U.S. owe Venezuela, like the U.S. is in debt to Venezuela, or some shit like that on the money side or whatever. And they said one of the forms of paying, this shit is crazy. They say one of the forms of paying them is like, we gonna, uh, we gonna accept all they undesirables, like, since we in debt to them, one of the ways we're going to pay them back 
it's not gonna be through money. Like one of the ways we're gonna pay them back, we're gonna accept all they criminals, all they undesirables, all they killers, all they goddamn it. Uh, you know what I'm saying? All the people that you know that you would think that we wouldn't accept over here, we accepting all them people over here. So it's like you know that shit crazy. I could believe it though. I could believe it though. Like from what I'm hearing, the U.S. in debt to a lot of people, bro. You know. We is like the goddamn it, um, you know, the top dog in a lot of senses. Like the U.S. America, it is like the top dog in a lot of ways. But you know, I'm hearing being in debt is not one of them. I heard we owe everybody on phone now. You know, like I've been hearing that for a while now. So I think that shit true. But yeah, that's crazy, bro. Like y'all gon' that's messed up, bro. Like y'all finna turn the country into like like. A goddamn it war zone. That's wild as hell. Like y'all better find a way to pay these people another way. Like that's goofy as hell. Like that's the only way y'all could pay these people back is like, all right, we're gonna accept all your criminals, all your rapists, all your goddamn it child. Mo- like, come on, bro. Pedro's that's some more shit. They ass ain't got no mores, no code, none of that shit, man. I'm fooling them when they ass start popping up. Like I'm saying, like this video, dude ass was like. The Venezuelan almost got stretched. Like, his ass was trying to rob dude for his car. He blew at the uh, dude that he was trying to rob, but buddy ass had gun, and he unloaded his shit. The Venezuelan sent his ass running. That, that would have been one of the situations right there where they like, damn, you know what I'm saying, man? You know what I'm saying? The man, like, DOA, like, one of y'all Venezuelans, like, they ass finna start losing their life over here, fool. Like, they gonna take some people's lives over here, but they gonna end up getting their ass clapped over here like everybody not going for that shit, fool. Like, yeah, y'all come from a, a place where it's like, you know what I'm saying? But it's like, don't come over here and think shit sweet, fool. Y'all gonna get y'all ass stretched. Y'all ass gonna die in America. I'm fooling them thinking America sweet, fool. Now y'all got me over here like I'm waving the American flag. Like, yeah, America, I ain't even known that type of shit. But now, like, that's what it is right now. On phone, I'm like, that's what it is. Like, shit. Just call it what you want, fool. That's what it is. But now, y'all let me know what y'all think. You know what I'm saying? Uh, before y'all get up out, about to hit smash the like button and say what's number like y'all live. Shout out to all my people on my MVP list. For anybody that's trying to get on my MVP list, all you got to do is support by grabbing some OTM merch or support through the PayPal or the Cash App. I do update my list daily, so if you support today, your name will be on the list tomorrow. And I also shout out all my people on my list at the end of every episode. So shout out to Kitty, Run the Plays, Marquise, Rony M, D. Shalea, Tamara, Hakeem, Cotton Boxing, Uno Jojo, man. Y'all already know what's going on. Shout out to all my people. Some money, y'all. I'll be flexing when I'm drunk and shit. These bitches mad at me. They throw their phone, they be like, fuck this. Smoking big granddaddy. Look, phone them over, stuff my blood and shit.